Hey everybody out there in the Witcher Math land and current students who are working on this assignment from the Ed Gems curriculum. Anybody else that's out there, we are talking about unit rates. In this current unit, speaking of units, and this is a uh, video answer key. I will take a picture of this page when it's all done and post that as just an answer key document. Okay, so the directions are to show your work in the space provided, which is why I've chosen to go with ballpoint pen today. I have trouble containing my work in the space provided. Use any materials you have to get it done, and when you're finished and done your best work, check the answer key. Funny thing is, until now, there's no answer key. I don't know how funny that is actually, but it's the truth. Here we go. Judy spent $13.20 for 12 candy bars. What is the price per candy bar? Think of the word per as the fraction bar. So on top of that, we have dollars and on the bottom we have candy bars, which I'm going to label as CB. So we've got $13.20 per 12 candy bars. It's a ratio, not a fraction, so I need to label everything so I can keep it in the right order. And we're going to have this come out to be price unit rate per one candy bar. That's called a unit rate. There's a one in the denominator. So to get from 12 to 1, <clears throat> I'm going to use a giant 1 strategy. It's a bit early out here in the garage, so please forgive my uh, throat. It might sound like I have a cold, but I'm just cold. Um, we're going to divide top and bottom by the denominator of what we're given, which is what allows us to get a unit rate. Giant one is simply a fraction with the same number in the numerator and denominator. Of course, 12 divided by 12 is 1. And $13.20 divided by 12 is $1.10. So the, did we answer the question? Price per candy bar? Yes, we labeled it. It's a unit rate. We showed our work in the space provided, and we're making the answer key, but for you, you're checking the answer key. Very nice. I'm going to circle that just to be so Captain Obvious for this teacher. He's so picky. Okay. For this one, I'm not going to read the first sentence. Oh, we've got 16 gallons. I take that back. Never mind. <coughs> Excuse me. There's that word per again. That tells us what order to put things in. So we're going to have miles per gallon. I'm just setting up my answer, my unit rate. We know since it's a single word, single gallon, that means one. A singular noun makes a singular number. That's the unit rate. Okay, so we're going to put miles on top. Reading the answer tells us how to hook this information. 336 miles for every 16 gallons. Just like up above, I'm going to use the giant one. I'm going to divide 16 by 16, gives me that unit rate, and then I'm going to divide 336 by 16. I use a little mental math. I think, well, 16 times 10 is 160, and another 10 makes 320, and one more makes 336. So with a little mental math, I can figure out that I have 21 miles per gallon. 
Very nice. So the first two problems, very similar. <clears throat> Pardon my throat. <laughs> you could always just turn the volume down and put on hyper speed, right? So 16 ounces for four, $4 or 24 ounces for $4.80 cost per ounce, which means dollar sign over ounces. That's the order we want. First one is $4 for 16 ounces. And the second one is Four dollars and eighty cents for twenty four ounces. And what we want to get out of both is a unit rate. The ounce abbreviation, oddly enough, is OZ. You could look that up and try to figure out why. So once we have a unit rate for both boxes of cereal, we're going to use some words here to explain our reasoning. The reason why we need the unit rates is the directions ask us to explain using unit rates. So $4 for 16 ounces. Yes, that's right. Look at me. I'm going to use a calculator. Four dollars divided by 16 ounces means 25 cents, 25 hundredths of a dollar per ounce. And then I will take the four dollar and eighty cent, divide it by 24 ounces, makes, whoa, did I do something wrong there? Let's try that again. Four dollars and eighty cents divided by 24. 20 cents, 21 hundredths of a dollar. So this, that's cheaper, so that means less per ounce. The larger box is less. I explained using unit rates. The way I can say that is I used a few words to indicate which box was less, and I used unit rates. The numbers don't lie. The numbers do the explaining. That's why I ask you to keep showing your work. That explains a lot and saves you a lot of writing. Okay, here we go. The word for is another word that tells you where to put the fraction bar. So he's going to have 10 comic books for $4. I'm going to flip those and let me explain why. Just like up above, typically you put price on top of whatever. We did dollars per ounce, we did dollars per candy bar. We're going to do dollars per comic book. Cost per whatever, okay? So I hope you understand that and agree with that. So we're trying to figure out $4 for 10 comic books would be how much for a single one? Let's find out. $4 divided by 10 comic books. Well, 40 cents, you probably knew that, right? It's always good to check and make sure. Or he can get for $7, 14 comic books. Let's find that unit rate. We know it's a unit rate, once again, because there's a one in the denominator. That's the unit of comparison. So 7 divided by 14, 
Ooh, 50 cents each one. So we have the fraction bar means four per each, every. Those are all key words we're looking for when you read problems. It tells you where to put the fraction bar. And you can definitely switch top to bottom like I just did there. As long as you do it for whatever you're comparing. That's the unit rate. The better deal. Better deal means lower unit rate. Okay, so it's not good enough just to have the right answer. You need to explain as if I've never seen this problem before. Okay, so you need to explain somehow using the math, the numbers, which is the better deal and why. Okay, and finally down at the bottom, we're going to close out this video with Tara's grandmother. Five pounds for three dollars. We're going to switch those dollars per pound. Three dollars and five pounds. LBs is going to give us a unit rate per pound, which in this case will be 60 cents. You can use long division, you can use a calculator, whatever it is. But the fact is, this is 60 cents per pound with the coupon. And the store already had them. Um, $1 for two pounds. So split that dollar in half, split that weight in half, and that makes 50 cents or 50 one hundredths of a dollar per pound. That's the better deal. Lower unit rate equals better deal. Don't use the coupon, just use the marked price. And that's the end of this first answer key. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.